Legs with Hoy Lies. Hey guys, Rob from Georgia here with you. It is week 323 and it is the first real week in November and so we are fresh off our theme week and of course dealing with the Halloween franchise and uh, again I am your Wednesday night host and uh, so fresh off of that, hope you all uh, just really enjoyed that. Uh, nice week long event here at Body Bags. Uh, I thought I would take a look this first week of November into a film that I have loved and cherished for uh, quite a while now. And uh, in, uh, well, it's all due to the 22 Shots Moods and Horror podcast. And I remember Moods reviewed this way back, way back early in the pods. And uh, so uh, when Rayo, Rayo Video put out uh, their edition of the Long Hair of Death, uh, an Antonio Margheriti film from 1965. It is a gothic period piece. It stars Barbara Steele, uh, George Artisan, Helena Zuiski, I think, and Guillermo Raffaelli, perhaps, if I'm not butchering him. But really, uh, this is, man, this movie, this movie harkens back to when I was a kid, and I remember, you know, on Sundays watching old black and white movies my mom would just have. I have no idea what station that would have been on, but uh, I, it is... This harkens back to the movies that I just really love. Those gothic pieces, the, the castle and the secret entrance ways and just the uh, the atmosphere and uh, perhaps a witch or two or uh, whatever it was. This movie, man, this movie, uh, Margarati, man, he hit it out of the freaking park with this movie. This movie is so freaking awesome. You know, I've said this before, I rarely... I don't usually make it a habit of buying films cold that I've never seen before, but I will go off uh, when I hear Moods praise something really highly, um, or someone else perhaps in the community, I'll go ahead and I'll just go ahead and take that leap and uh, if, uh, if I can and grab it. And man, this was one of the best cold purchases I have ever made. I am so glad I got this in my collection. This movie is so freaking awesome. Really, you got this, uh, this count his family, uh, who uh, very early into the film, uh, uh, through the, uh, a set of circumstances, uh, they send an accused witch to be burned alive at the stake, so to speak, or the cross. And, uh, and uh, as she is about to uh, be succumbed uh, or consumed by the flames, she will pronounce a curse, not just on the count, but his family, his son, uh, and everyone. And it's, it's one of those, man. It's a great moment in the film because it really begins to set this idea, this dread in this atmosphere. And you get uh, Barbara Steele plays, uh, well, she'll play two characters. She'll play uh, the woman who's accused of witchcraft. She'll play her oldest daughter uh, who also is executed, but then she will also play uh, a person, a character by the name of Mary, who really is sort of the reincarnation incarnated effect of this curse who will just wander into this village uh, during this uh, storm uh, and it comes at the end of the 15th century just as uh, the curse had been laid upon this community uh, a plague will uh, will uh, kind of take effect people will start dying the count knows uh, that he's paying for the sins of his past and when his son basically uh, tells him that uh, He's the one to be blamed for the death of his brother. Uh, it sort of puts everything into a whole new level of context, I guess. And this is one of those movies, man, you could spend a long time. It, it's, it's made perfect for a podcast with the right set of films because you could just talk and talk and talk and talk uh, forever on this film. And so really... Uh, uh, Jeez, I don't, you know, it's, that really in, it, in itself is the plot, and as you see this curse uh, take shape, and you follow mainly the character of Kurt, he'll succumb uh, to his lust, will really be his undoing, and it, it's just a level of pieces that begin to fall and take shape that lead to an ending that is... Uh, so appropriate for his character. Uh, and, you know, there's this supernatural vibe, again, it's a gothic vibe, and uh, sort of, um, you can't, I mean, it's sort of, um, 
you kind of got this Black Sunday vibe going on. Um, it's just a, uh, it's almost a perfect old Gothic castle witch curse. I mean, the whole thing. It is, it is really, I think, almost a perfect film. I, I won't say it's a perfect film for me because, man, I absolutely freaking love love and adore this film and this released by Rero Video. Um, I know they've got quite the collection and, uh, and I think this is the only one I actually have. But um, man, I'm, I'm telling you, if you've never seen this and there's uh, the inside cover art, um, if you've never seen this, man, yeah, I mean, and you, and you don't mind a slow burn, because uh, it's a bit of a slow burn, but it's so worth it. Well, let me say this. It's a slow, it may be a slow burn for some who are watching. For me, I love every frame, every scene. I love the very beginning throughout the middle of the film to the very end climax. It is, uh, it is uh, just an, an absolutely enjoyable. Um, and Barbara Steele is, man. And the music, the score is just phenomenal. It just helps create this level of atmosphere that is just, uh, it's just, uh, it's insane, man. And when you get to see uh, the witch being uh, somewhat, it, it's kind of a weird thing that's going on, but uh, somewhat the reincarnation of this witch uh, who will take the form of somewhat of an innocent character, but who's manipulating things um, to exactly the degree that she wants. Um, Kurt can't but fall into uh, the totality of this curse, this trap, and ultimately pay uh, a pretty, 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 pretty hefty price towards the end. And uh, again, uh, uh, it is an Italian film, but it is, uh, it's got an American release, so you don't have to worry about being, you know, about re the whole region free thing. And uh, if you're not that familiar with uh, Margarati, he's also known for uh, Castle of Blood in 64, Cannibal Apocalypse, of course, I know many of you probably have, from 1980. And uh, Seven Dead in a Cat's Eye, 73, there's another one. Um, but he's he directed a lot of film. Killer Fish is sort of, uh, it's on my horizon, this one, and I want more of a sort of action uh, um, a suspense piece maybe or something. Um, but anyways, The Long Hair of Death, I mean, this is, uh, it doesn't really get much better than this as far as old period, you know, 15th, 14th century type uh period pieces with the castles and the uh just everything that at least i grew up as a kid watching that was old um man and barbara Steele, man she is just she is she's amazing to watch as she carries the load of two characters in this film which is amazing to watch the count uh himself uh, uh he's uh, he does really well uh the whole cast does actually um it's uh it's an amazing film. It's an absolutely amazing, amazing film. So uh, on week 323, a little bit of Italian old Gothic horror from Margarati. And I highly, 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 highly suggest that if you've never seen this, or perhaps maybe it's just been sitting on your shelf for a while because you're a collector and you're a purist and a completist and, and uh, you're working on the Rero video set and you've got this on your shelf but you just maybe haven't pulled it off yet, uh, it's time to pull it off and, and take a look. This thing is, man, this is uh, a very well-crafted film. It's beautiful. It's just absolutely so beautiful to watch. And it's not just Barbara Steele. It's, uh, it's everything, man. It's the music. It's the cinematography. It's just how everything is laid out, um, how the story falls into place, the curse, uh, just the scene when the witch gets uh, put, lit up in the beginning and as she pronounces this curse, man, you can't help to not feel a sense of dread that's already coming over this community. And uh, man, to a T, her words will prevail. <laughs> it's pretty uh, it's pretty wild. So uh, again, uh, Rob's from Georgia and uh, bringing you some old school Italian horror and... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> if you haven't noticed, my bills are six and two now, and uh, just took down the Redskins today, and so that's pretty good. And uh, so I guess I'm, you know, now what day I did this, so uh, that's fine. We do these things a little early sometimes, but uh, week three hundred twenty-three, just uh, 
Enjoy Italian uh, month over at the 22 Shots of Horror podcast as they begin to start doing some serious, serious talk on Italian horror. I think beginning with Dari Argento, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so enjoy that over there and everything that the horophilia community has to offer. So many podcasts, so many guys out there and gals out there doing videos and whatnot. It's just, uh, it's an awesome time right now in our community to love horror. So uh, as always, we end these things off with Go Bills.